I'm going to take you through the Stamps Away Padding Press. So basically a padding press allows you to make little notebooks um, and to do your spines for your bigger books and things like that. And it just holds everything together. So if you want to make little notebooks like this, this is the perfect tool. They're great little gifts and ever so easy to make. So your basic press comes like this, already built. In the back here is your little clamp, so that needs to come out. It, but it stores at the back there, lovely little storage that it sits there, so you're not going to lose it. And you've got a little hinge mechanism here, and it's ever so easy to use. So I'm just going to put it down there so you can see what I'm doing. In fact, if I turn it that way, you can see everything that's going on. So you'll notice that when I've got it down on the table like this, See how it's sitting at that angle? That's the important bit, okay? Because that allows you to work with it nice and comfortably. Before you start making your pad, you will need a bit of a sturdy backboard. So you can either recycle an old used um, notebook um, or even, you know, recycle cereal boxes, anything like that. You just want a little bit of sturdy board and some papers cut to size. I'm just using copier paper. And you want to prepare yourself a cover. Cover's not urgent yet because we're going to actually make the pad first, the cover goes on afterwards. So you get your papers and your board and they're all cut to the same size. On your press, you want to loosen up the main bit here. There is a little sticker that says um, loosen and tighten. Okay, so you slide that up and then your papers go in and you just want to butt them up to one side and butt them up at the bottom there. So you just give them a little knock so that everything is nice and lined up, okay? Then when they're all in place, you tighten these up. Now you're only clamping this. You're not wanting to squeeze the life out of it. So you're just gonna tighten that up so that when you move it, the papers aren't gonna slide about. You'll notice that the bed of this is large enough to take A4 portrait. Okay. Once you've got those tightened and everything's in, you're going to stand it up. Okay. If I turn it that way, you can see stood up. We're then going to flick that top bit over, which is now exposing the top of your papers all nicely lined up, and there's your backboard lined up as well. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take a nice wet glue, something like a book binding glue or a high quality PVA and with a brush or a sponge you're going to work that glue into the top. We're not going right down into all the pages, you just want it to go slightly so we're not squidging it right in, we're brushing it along the top but just making sure we're getting that all the way along. Don't worry if the pages are separating at this point. They're clamped together here, but don't worry if they're sort of fanning out a little bit. You want to just make sure that the glue is worked in. Now we're going to come to your clamp part. You'll notice that the clamp has two bolts and two sheets of mylar inside. The mylar wants to come either side of your notebook. And this is just so that your glue isn't going to stick to your actual clamp at the top there, okay? And you'll notice that everything is sized so nothing sticks up over the top so that when we clamp this shut, and again, you're not, you're only hold, tightening this up till you see those pages come together, okay? Obviously, you can do it at the same time, both nuts together, wing nuts at the same time, but I'm sort of working at a different angle so you can see. And you just want to tighten that up so that's gonna hold all those pages together while the glue dries. Now, obviously you're using a wet glue so it will take a few minutes to dry. If you want to speed it up a little bit, leave it for about 10 minutes in the clamp, then loosen this top one up and you can start it off with, you can do it with a heat gun. Don't heat gun while you've got your mylar either side. The mylar, if it gets really covered in glue and a bit sticky, you could undo the wing nuts, take the top layer off, wipe your mylar um, protector bits, 
give them a clean and then pop them back in put your wing nuts back on and it's ready to go so you just want to basically leave that there for a few minutes so imagine i have done that once your glue's dry and what you'll notice is because you're using a wet glue on the top there it will start going matte so you know that it's starting to dry mine is still shiny but you're going to imagine it's matte so you're going to leave that in there to dry till the glue's gone matte along the top there and it's not sticky to touch once it's dry, you can then loosen off this top bit. Okay. Don't need to loosen it all the way, just enough that you can, and you'll notice that the mylar has protected your press from the glue. Lift this off. Obviously, there you go. So there's your pad. Now, we all know I haven't waited long enough for the glue to actually dry, but there's your um, pad glued. So then it's just a case of undoing these ones so that your pad can slide out, okay? And then when that's dry, all of that will be glued together perfectly. Patience isn't my virtue. And then it's just a case of choosing your cover and always make sure that your cover has an extra bit at the top and it's that that you wrap around and attach on the back. Okay, and if you want to, you can then, once you've attached your cover, you can pop it all back in the clamp just to make sure that everything is nice and secure. You've got a nice crisp edge on the top of your notebook. Tighten those up, flick it over, put your clamp back on just to make sure everything is as secure as it can be and it will just give you that nice crisp top. So just tighten those up. Notice I'm not really, really going too tight with those. You're just holding it while the glue dries and then you can just run your finger along there crisps up those edges and it will give you that professional notebook finish that you're looking for. 